This video is going to be a little different from my usual update videos. Instead of just doing one update video at a time, I'm going to show every change Ghost Ship has made in one video. And there were quite a few changes made to not only the guns, but the bugs as well in today's update video. You'll see. Alright, I have the patch notes here opened up, and I also know that this is the sandbox mod, and it's not like, oh, it's not a real theoretical situation. Shut up. I, I get to spawn whatever I want in the sandbox mod so I can try out all these, these new updates. So we're going to be going over the armor breaking change that they've done. So the biggest thing that they've changed is for the medium boys. The armor now scales with hazard level, and so now I'm on... I'm on hazard level five, so let's see. So this doesn't, this does not have the armor breaking on it. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm not ex entirely sure what they've, they said that they were doing to change it, but it does seem like it's a little bit harder to strip these guys of their armor. Wow. Wow, okay. So that's three hits now. I remember it was around two hits for all the pieces to be broken off. Okay. So they said that they fixed a long-standing bug where heavy armor, as found on the Praetorians, did not scale in accordance with hazard level. As discussed in the previous post, we've cooked up a few tweaks to make enemy armor behave more consistently and give more incentive to pick the armor-breaking modifications on your weapon. Okay. So now let's see what it's like with the armor breaking. Oh, wow. It's just all, all one hit now. Wow. Okay. All right. That was a lot faster. <laughs> and yeah, I did a lot more damage too. It's probably because I didn't strip him all the way. Wow. Okay. Nice. Let's try a guard out. Put up your shield, boy. Put up your shield. Yeah? What shield? Yeah, what shield? Huh? Punk? So yeah, maybe, just maybe, it would be viable to take armor breaking now. Alright, so fixed a bug where projectiles for the PGL, Drac 25, and Hurricane could hit an enemy and break the armor, but not damage the enemy in the same hit. This is a big day for hyper propellant enjoyers. Ooh. Yeah, I'm I'm one of those. So before, I believe, the only way to deal the same amount of damage was with fire put onto this. I also think they updated homebrew explosives as well, too, for the PGL, if I'm not mistaken. Fixed hyper-propellant OC working incorrectly with the Tier 4A homebrew explosive mod. This mod was not supposed to affect the actual explosion. Therefore, these changes have been made to make it more clear. The homebrew explosive mode has, or I, I'm, I think they meant to say mod, <laughs> not mode. The homebrew explosive mod has been changed to only affect radial damage on the weapon's projectile. Oh, interesting. Therefore, it should no longer affect upgrades that do direct damage, such as the spiky grenade modification or the direct damage of the hyper propellant OC. Prior to the change, homebrew explosive had no effect on neither direct nor area damage of the hyper propellant. So what you're saying is this whole time I've been using this this mod, this gear mod with hyper propellant and it wasn't doing anything? Really? Okay, so now it now that oh, what? Why is this on? Oh. Get off get off my screen. So this should work now. The Ooh. Okay. That's not doing the same amount of damage as before. Ooh. Ooh. That's not doing good. Is it because I have fire on now? Okay, let, let's do armor breaking now. Let's see, let's see. Because fire does take half the damage. There we go. That's the damage I want to see. Yeah, there you go. So now I should just be able to shoot him in the side. And it should do... Yep. Yeah, Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then what? It, what is it like with nothing? Ooh, it absorbs it. And then after that, yeah, there you go, okay. Yep, okay. So taking armor breaking with hyper propellant is definitely going to be a lot better now. And then it also said 
that just the PGL in general will now deal damage through the armor. Ooh, <laughs> look at their armor just... Ooh, okay. That is... Hmm, that is interesting. So fire might not be as viable anymore, because... Let's see what fire... Because fire won't take off the armor as easily. Yeah, but it's still... That burning, it still is really good. Because that'll just finish them off with one shot rather than two shots. So yeah, no. Fire fire can still be useful. Just with certain builds now, maybe taking armor breaking would be better. And then the drac as well. Damage. And the the projectiles fly faster. And let's just let's just send let's let's just full send it. Alright, let's full send this thing. <laughs> Uh, it's not it's not doing as as well as I thought it would <laughs> yeah I mean it's it's not doing as good once but like same thing though like the drag kind of still sucks no matter what I can't really notice a difference with the Drake because the Drake kind of just sucks yeah so it's just it's still doing the numbers but it's just uh Got that armor breaking, okay. And then give it give it armor breaking. And then Yeah. It's like I can just shoot it on any part of the body now. And it'll, it'll take the damage. Nice. Yeah, you know what? Armor breaking probably has been either fixed or or I don't know. It just feels different though, I will say. I will say that it is a lot. It's going to be a lot more interesting in real situations. All right, let's move on from the armor breaking section. Let's get into the changes they've made to the weapons and the overclocks as well. So first they said um, below the hyper propellant one, they said fixed a bug with the cryo cannons tier five fragile mod where shattered enemies didn't die as expected on higher hazards. This is interesting because I will say I, I did feel this whenever I would use fragile. It just does not feel like it works properly. I don't know what it is. And I guess now it has been confirmed that it was bugged. All right, we have a build here with ice spear and fragile. Okay. Oh. Is he going to break? Oh. Okay, interesting. Hold on, spawn in some multiple ones. Oh. So do I have to keep firing it? Oh. Oh, interesting. Hold on. These are just grunts. I should probably try them on something a little bit more hefty. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm assuming I, I don't I had to keep firing at them. Okay, no shatter. Oh there you go. There you go. Okay, okay. So let's see. Is it based on the health? Okay, he's below half. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like he they they shatter within like a certain amount of health. That is interesting. Oh, that makes me wonder. Ice Storm. So this is with Ice Storm. Ooh. Ooh. I think this just this might have just oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this just improved my love for Ice Storm even more. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. It has improved my love for Ice Storm. Oh. 
I might be taking Fragile now with Ice Storm. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's like once they're below half health, it's a chance for them to, to shatter. That is insane. I like Fragile a lot more now. All right, all right. Okay. Fix a bug causing the Shard Defractor's Biomass Converter mod to not work for clients. Okay. So, wait. Clients who have joined you or you you in general? Like, your side? Because I will say this. I am a firm feedback loop enjoyer. And Biomass Converter is the number one. It is so useful to use it with that overclock. I will say that biomass converter felt like it just wasn't working properly and i don't know why let's see let's see okay yep we already have the <laughs> the feedback loop set up here's the number one test just 100 bugs charge it up yeah <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. that only used what 67 shots instead of a full all right, hold on. Game's gonna get a little laggy here. It's gonna get a little laggy here. Ugh. All right. How much was that? Okay. It, it, wow. It didn't even use a shot to kill that one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So that that is interesting. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. So wait, so then can I just like fire a little bit extra? Okay, so, oh man. Okay, that is, ooh, that is, that is, that is really good. That is really, really, really good. This feels like it actually works now. This, me likey. Me likey a latte. Alrighty. Fix a bug with the turret arc OC. An overclock I don't really use that much. Where the electric damage bonus from the Gemini turrets didn't cause any additional damage when used with some other weapons. Okay. Be stubby. And I guess we'll go with the this. So electric damage. Let's do. Oh yeah, this is also another thing too. I was reading. Fix a bug that caused the stubbies upgraded capacitors mod to roll two proc attempts with a 25% chance instead of one roll with a 50% chance proc. Basically, now there's a higher chance to proc the electrical effect. Oh man, that is that is interesting. So it's it's this one, the upgraded capacitor. So now we should be getting a higher electricity rate, which I think it also shows in the stats. Yep. So now oh Oh, that is a lot easier to proc that now. Come, my friend, come. Oh, what? <laughs> it ended right as it was going. Boop. Boop. Yep, so now I get the bonus damage from that. All right. And then this is without it. How fast it kills him. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Let's go full electricity. So EM discharge or EM fire booster. Oh man. Oh my God. That procs so fast. Holy crap. That is actually really good. Just, oh God. That is crazy, dude. That's, oh, oh, that is such a huge difference. Oh my God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, no, turd arc is a lot better, even though I don't really use it that often. Okay. And then finally fix a bug causing turret EM discharge overclock to not proc at certain angles. That is interesting. Okay. So let's see here. This should also proc the EM discharge a lot faster now too, since it, it's based on the electricity chance. Let's see. Yeah, two shots. Oh my god. I will say I, I notice a huge difference. I'm getting it like almost every single time now. 
weird locations. Yeah, so some are on like the walls, roofs, things like that. All right. All right. So yeah, now it now it actually procs. Oh my god. Even discharge, my beloved. I never liked even discharge before, and now I do. I never noticed this with it. It's probably also based on the roof. But let's see. I guess like set set them a little bit higher. All right. Yep, so they all they get affected at every angle now. And then this just applies it faster because of the electricity chance. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. And I think that's it for the patch notes. For the weapons. And for the armor breaking too. Wait, no. I missed one. Fixed a bug where the Boomstick's improved blast wave did not deal damage to armor. The shockwave now uses radial damage instead of custom damage, so it should work against armor now. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, so now it's... I'm not going to be staring at him. Oh, it did take off that damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, see, it did take off that armor. Oh, interesting. Oh my god. It's just stripping him of, of all his armor. All right, hold on. Let's do this. This is full damage, by the way, too. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god. God, dude. That just wrecks. Oh, all these poor guards. <laughs> Let's see what it's like without double barrel. I mean, it probably still would perform good. Let's see. Yeah. So now, now it affects armor. Yeah. It's still doing pretty good numbers against the armor. Yeah. Even without shooting them directly. It does help. Oh. No. Stay back. Oh man, this is this is a good update. This is really fun. I like the change that they did the arm breaking. Now it just makes me wonder what it's like on Hazard 6. This is this is going to be what it's like on Hazard 6. And of course, the most important patch note of all, typos. Fix some, probably made some new ones. Let's see if we can find some. <laughs> all right, I couldn't really find any any typo errors or anything new, but we're going to be moving on to the beer here, which I actually almost completely forgot about while recording this. So yeah, no. So the hidden dwarf beer, I believe that this is kind of like a prop hunt or a hide and seek sort of type deal with your friends. You can do in the lobby now since hide and seek is a known thing. Yeah, let's upgrade our beer license. Since people like to hide around the space rig, in like a hide and seek type game themselves. Now I believe this will hide you as a prop. Oh. Okay. Oh, hunter mode. Hunter's prop. Okay, yeah, it is like it is like prop hunt. Okay. Ah, uh, and you throw them. <laughs> Okay, okay. So the little the little icon at the top is gonna be is gonna be whether you're a hunter or a hider. Okay, so this one this one is hunter. Can I get the hider one, Lloyd, please? <laughs> Here Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd's like, huh? Huh? I wonder if they've hidden any any props around themselves, the devs that isn't in the same place as usual. Hell yeah. This is one Kind of a crazy update a little bit. Not as crazy as last patch, but hey, armor breaking is sort of finally fixed. I know this video is a little bit different, but thank you to everyone who stuck till the end of it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Rock and stone miners.